let's look at question 14a. 14a leads find the integral of open bracket x to the power 3 plus 2x plus 3 with respect to x. So in this case we are just following the standard integration method to answer this question. So let me do a from here. So if you are given a function this x to the power n dx this is the same as x plus 1 then plus a constant. So to the power n you add your 1 then the new summation becomes in the divider or the number that you divide into the original function. So that's the principle that we use when we are integrating. So following that let us now integrate this function. So what we are going to have is we are going to have this function will be equal to I'll call it y equal to so this power the new power becomes a 4 so it will be x to the power 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 then plus then we go to the next one which is this one so it will be 2 then x to the power 1 plus 1 because x has a power of 1 then divide by 1 plus 1 then plus 3 the same as 3 x to the power 0 anything less to the power 0 is a 1 1 times 3 is a 1 so we are going to have now 3x to the power 0 plus 1 over 0 plus 1 then plus a constant because this is an indefinite integral so you always add a constant then at this point it's just a matter of simplifying this we have 3 plus 1 is a 4 so x to the power 4 over 3 plus 1 so over 4 then plus we are going to have 1 plus 1 is a 2, so we're going to have 2x to the power 2 over 1 plus 1, which is 2, then plus, then we're going to have 3x, because 0 plus 1 is 1, so it will be x to the power 1 over 1 plus c. Then simplifying this, we get x 1 quarter, x to the power 4, then plus 2 into 2 is a 1, so it's x squared, then plus 3x plus c. So this is the integral of that function so this is the answer for a so once you do this you are good to go and you end up getting these two good marks that we found so we are saying 1 over 4x plus x square plus 3x then plus c like this so we have question A. Let us look at question B. So question B leads in the following diagram triangle ABC is mapped onto triangle DEF by a single transformation M. Describe fully transformation M. So at this point we need to look at the pairs. So we have A D. So A is this side, D is this side. Okay? Then you have E, B and E. So B and E they are close to each other. Then F and C. So C and F. So if you notice, if you have a compass, you just draw this line, divide that you notice that these lines are parallel. What is happening there is we are looking at deflection. Deflection because this one the shape remains the same. So when you are looking at deflection, the objects and each image are equidistant from the mirror line. So it's this distance. So you've seen this distance, this distance are the same. The distance from here, B to the mirror line, this distance, the same as this distance. That's the property of deflection. Then also this distance from here to here and this distance, they are the same. This distance are the same. You can measure if you have the lelula. Then we know that it is deflection. Now, having known that it's a reflection, then we need to describe it. And the other thing that you need to pay attention to is the fact that all the lengths and angles are preserved. These angles have not changed. These angles remain the same. These angles are preserved. These angles have not changed. Then, after that, once we know that this is 
show the reflection then we need to describe it how do we describe reflection a reflection is completely described by giving the equation of the line of reflection so the first thing that we need to do is this is in reflection number one is reflection so now we need to find the line so if you see this line this line is passing through this is one comma one it's passing through two comma two this is two comma two then this is negative two comma negative two this so this is a downward sloping line downward sloping line coming from where up to them down but positive comma positive so meaning this is a line which says y is equal to m x plus c because it's passing through the origin c is equal to zero so we have y is equal to m x now because it's one comma one two comma two it means the slope is in one because the change in y and the change in x is the same so I mean, this line becomes y is equal to x so this is the miller line so once this is done we say it is a reflection with the line of reflection within y is equal to x line of deflection or the miller line once you do that you are good to go and you get these four marks